From cult classic movies like Pretty in Pink to people who practically dedicate themselves to the color pink. When you actually stop and take a look, pink is everywhere, even in the animal kingdom. Let's take a look at blushing dolphins and startling pink millipedes. 17 pink animals you won't believe are real. Where did the name for the color pink originate from? Find out at the end of the video. 17. Pink on the perch. Believe it or not, parakeets don't sport just the yellow, blue, green, and white. Birds want to get with the trends as well, so some of them have decided to grow their plumage pink. The rosy bork parakeet is a unique and beautiful bird if you are looking for a pink pet. We'd like to thank our subscribers and viewers for commenting, like Wolfie Unknown, who'd only want the dragon ring from our video about cursed objects you can buy on eBay, which is a good idea the rest of you probably would only want to view from your computer screen. And Koharak, who ended up on our video about most haunting things under the sea after a long spiral down the rabbit hole of YouTube videos. 16. The Fabulous Pink Armadillo No one would expect to see a pink armadillo to begin with, but when it's called a fairy, you just have to laugh. The pink fairy armadillo is a legitimate species endemic to central Argentina, which was first mentioned way back in 1825. This species is the smallest living armadillo known to science. Number 15. Pink is not always pretty. Brace yourselves for the grossness. This writhing thing is actually a fish, properly known as Mixilomosa. It is a genus of jawless fish from the family of mucus stings. As if that classification isn't nasty enough, their colloquial name is just as charming, the hagfish. 14. A living pink writing utensil. This is a colonial marine cynodarian found all over the globe and very appropriately known as the sea pen, more specifically, a feathery sea pen. They feed on microplankton and are usually white or cream in color, but every once in a while, you can come across one as bright pink as this one. 13. The millipede that looks like a protozoa. This crawly critter with way too many legs is called a feather millipede, and that name fits like a fluffy pink glove. Their colors span various shades of pink through tan to orange, and their proper name is Prachyside, which is Greek and actually means short head. 12. A real-life water-type Pokemon Anyone here remember Wooper, the strange blue Pokemon with pink antenna sticking out of its cheeks? Here's the pink critter it was based on, the axolotl, aka Mexican salamander, aka Mexican walking fish. Although it is an amphibian, it never develops lungs and spends its entire life underwater. 11. The Slithery Winter Princess this is a snow corn snake, which is a non-venomous snake from the southeastern U.S. These serpents are what is called amelanastic, which means they lack the dark pigment melanin. They are pink and yellow, and their eyes are also pink with darker pink or even red pupils. Corn snakes are very calm and popular as pets because they are easy to care for. However, they are surprisingly adept climbers and have an uncanny talent for escaping their homes. 10. The Pink Swimming Buddy This is the unique pink dolphin, which is a freshwater variant of the lovable ocean dweller we all know and adore. Pink dolphins most notably live in the Amazon River and are a major selling point for many touristic cruises. They also figure heavily in local folklore. They are actually gray while they are young and gradually turn pink as they grow older. An individual dolphin's final color is influenced by their behavior, capillary placement, diet, and exposure to sunlight, and they range from mostly gray with some pinkish spots to outright flamboyant flamingo pink, and they turn an even brighter shade of it when they are excited, meaning these river dolphins essentially blush just like we humans do. 9. The Preppy Pink Helicopter 
This is the roseate skimmer dragonfly, one of the most invasive and widespread dragonfly species out there. They are famous for their vibrant color, although it is only found in the males. They wear a dark pink coat when they are young, and the color goes brighter and more vibrant as the dragonfly grows older. As for the females, they tend to prefer various shades of orange. These little insects typically live near still water or moving freshwater, and it is said that their presence indicates healthy and clean water without much pollution. Number 8. The Monster-Eyed Pink Moth There are around 160,000 species of moth that we know of today. Considering that, it might not be that strange to see this kind of extravagantly colored insect camping on a nearby flower stalk although those creepily bulging bright green eyes completely ruin its pretty and pink aesthetic. Number 7. The Pink Pickle You Don't Want in Your Salad This might look like some weird alien from a severely outdated sci-fi movie, but it is actually, can you guess, a sea cucumber. More specifically, this is the Pelagic Sea Cucumber, the single strangest member of its broad biological family, as it is the only breed to have this particular kind of appearance that looks so much like a jellyfish. It has been found in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans at all sorts of varying depths, and it prefers to move by just sort of drifting along with the minimal possible control of its own movements. Number 6. The Fluorescent Disco Lord of the Fish World Believe it or not, this weird-looking diva of a fish is a pretty popular pet and incredibly expensive. This is the flower horn cichlid fish, and although we see no horn on it, it does seem to be sporting a hairstyle that looks a lot like a cauliflower. That weird bump on its head is called a nuchal hump, also known as a cock. Although scientists haven't figured out its purpose yet, they know that its growth is induced by hormones and that it swells up like crazy on male fishes while it barely ever appears on females. Current ideas are that they are used for storing fat or for recognition during mating season. Number 5. Sitting around all day is more fun in color. Yeah, this is an actual animal. It is not even a coral because it is not an exoskeleton of anything, although certain small creatures make it their business to colonize it anyway. This is a type of demo sponge, colloquially known as the branching base sponge. It tends to end up as the home of brittle stars and colonial anemone. In case you are wondering just what in the world a sponge would have for lunch, it feeds on detritus and plankton. 4. Hopping right onto the pink train there are some people out there with a fear of grasshoppers, but could you really be scared of such a brightly colored little athlete? Although the green variety is by far the most common one, grasshoppers tend to rock a range of colors including several shades of green, brown, purple, red, and pink. The color form of an individual grasshopper is determined genetically, and there are actually some grasshopper populations which feature a high frequency of pink specimens. 3. The Fabulous Skittering Critter The shocking pink dragon millipede was documented for the first time in 2007, and yes, that is its actual name. This creature's flamboyant fashion statement is actually a blaring warning siren to all the local predators and all the curious humans that this millipede is as toxic as they get. It protects itself from hungry predators and nosy researchers by making its glands produce cyanide. 2. A whole new level of nope. Leave it to Australia to provide us with forever new and bizarre creepy crawlies of all shapes and sizes and some pretty weird colors. This continent slug and snail researchers, officially known as malacologists, recently discovered a new breed of slug that lives only on one single Australian mountain. It measures an average of 20 centimeters, so around 8 inches and its screaming hot pink sliminess has us equally fascinated and grossed out. Number 1. Pink Panther's Domesticated Cousin This cat was discovered roaming the streets of Swindon, Wiltshire back in 2010. A nationwide hunt for the responsible person ensued as vets believed it was somebody's sick prank. 
Well, it didn't turn out much better. Eventually, the cat's owner came forward and confessed to dyeing the kitty's white fur a bright pink to match her own hair because it just seemed like a good idea. The color pink got its name from a flowering plant called pinks. Did you get that correct? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Coming up next, 10 friendly sharks in the ocean. The high fives like Eli Martinez, editor of Shark Diver Magazine, does with friendly lemon shark. Number one, the friendly shark that saved a fisherman's life. Back in 2012, a sea sailing tragedy was made a lot less terrible by a shark. Instead of eating a lost fisherman, the shark actually saved his